Welcome back to In Focus. Six days ago, the night before New Year's Eve, a church in San Diego was vandalized. That would be City View Church. The church was set to host Sean Foyt, well-known Christian singer, for their New Year's Eve worship night, Let Us Worship. Once leftists found out about this, they made efforts to instill fear into those planning to attend and worship our Savior by spray-painting grotesque and threatening messages on the walls. That did not change anything, however, because the event continued. They cleaned up the graffiti, people showed up, and the night was a success. So now the question is, what's next? According to Sean Foyt, the police are investigating this as a hate crime because that's what it was, obviously. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see. It doesn't get any clearer than that. Here to discuss with me is Sean Foyt himself, Christian musician and founder of Let Us Worship. Sean, great to have you on the show. This was a, a worship event in collaboration uh, with, with a church, with several churches. Uh, what was your reaction when, when you found out about this? Did you get a text about it? Did you see it uh, firsthand? How did you first hear that, that this had, vandalism had gone down? Yeah, you know, San Diego would probably be the last place I would think something like this would happen. Uh, we expected in Seattle, Portland, Chicago, uh, New York. Um, but yeah, I got a text uh, the morning of New Year's Eve, and I was about to head up to the church for sound check, and there was already police there. Uh, they were investigating it, and of course, you saw the graffiti, the windows that were broken the doors that were smashed. And, uh, you know, we just, I knew in that moment, this is going to be a really great night. <laughs> yeah. And of course the, the graffiti was cleaned off like that. Uh, Pastor Samuel Duth of Awaken Church, a uh, mutual friend of ours, he's, he said that, you know, they, by the time he even got there and showed up, the graffiti was already gone. Mm -hmm. There was a group that did take credit for this, and we have a screenshot of the tweet reported by Andy No. Uh, Pride was a riot underscore is this Antifa Twitter group that was taking credit for this uh, for this vandalism, all of this graffiti. Sean, what would you say to, to these self-described queer militants if you uh, had a chance? Obviously, they're not too fond of you. What would you say to them? They're so tolerant. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I think it's silly that they think that they can attack a church and cause us to not do what we've been doing for 2,000 years. I mean, the church has come under a lot more persecution, a lot more pushback than a little graffiti. And so if anything, it doesn't discourage us. It emboldens us. You know, anytime you see this kind of resistance coming to a church, you, you know that you're probably on the right track. And truth is hate speech to those who hate truth. Yeah, that's well said. Now, you, you've been doing this, uh, touring the country, essentially traveling around the country, holding these these really big uh, Let Us Worship events. I, I, I went to one myself in Washington, D.C. Uh, what's, the, what's the worst that you've gotten? How, uh, the worst opposition that you've gotten? Have you ever, ever feared for your safety at any of these events? You know, we've had death threats. We've had Antifa attack us. We've had a super glue uh, on all of our gear. We've had um, Satanists pour bowls of blood on us. We've had them destroy our sound equipment, uh, threaten my wife and kids. Um, however, we prevailed and God has been amazing in protecting us. We have great security and, you know, we're really confronting in America, spiritual forces of darkness that don't want worship, that don't want the church to rise up. And we got to be bold. And we got to be like the early church, filled with fire, filled with hope, not letting them get us discouraged or get us angry. But there's even a joy that comes over us that we get to face this stuff and God keeps showing up. 
Well, Sean, you, you're, I've got to say, you're one of very few worship leaders I know of that's, that doesn't shy away from the public square, from our body politic. Uh, I'm glad that we have leaders on the front lines like you, Christian leaders like you, who are, are spearheading this movement of, uh, yes, Christians, churches can be involved and should be involved in, uh, in not even this partisanship, but just speaking the truth, speaking truth to power. So thank you so much for doing that. Sean Foyt from Let Us Worship. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. You God bet. bless you guys.